I don't think I ever had like a specific moment that I knew it was my path. I just was always a really humongous fan of music and I spent what seemed to be my whole day in existence for for probably about 13 to 15 just listening and being obsessed with all kinds of music writing out lyrics and things like this and somehow in the midst of all this it transitioned into me trying to make my own music and I can't really pinpoint where it is that I thought this is something I could be successful at or really want to do but I think it just became something that I couldn't think about anything else and then before I knew it, it was what I was doing. There are a lot of the challenges that you face when you're when you are trying to be a rapper which I do and I'm from Australia and I'm a girl and people think I should be a model and not say anything with my mouth. So there's a lot of different, I guess, stereotypes and it's hard to make people believe in you when they believe you should be doing something else without even hearing it. And that's been the biggest kind of obstacle for me is making people see that I am good at this and that I'm, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Cause sometimes people have other ideas for what's best for you, but I feel like I'm starting to overcome that now. So it's a good feeling. I'm really excited. I've never been to an award show or anything like that before, so I'm excited that my first award show is the Brit Awards. My performances are always pretty crazy and energetic. I haven't really figured it out because I need to know more about this party and what's going on so I can know what to wear. That's what I center everything really around because I'm a girl. It starts with the fashion. But uh, I'm going to perform my first single, which is Work. and. That's just like, it's a really musical song. It starts off kind of, you think it's going to be a ballad and then it gets crazy dance track and I'll throw in, maybe I should throw in my DJ Fresh remix. I don't know, we'll see. Something fun. Got to get the people going. I think it's always great to have older people on mentors sort of give their stamp of approval on what you're doing and it means a lot to me, so especially it being the Brit Awards and then having somebody from the UK feel that way about me. It's kind of makes it all come full circle. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually really happy about the whole thing. London just always has this really wild energy about it. And I've been throughout the rest of the UK and some cities had it and some cities doesn't, but London, no matter where I am, when I get on stage, there's just like this electric energy happening in the place. And, I love, always love performing out here. It's just always such a good vibe. Everybody comes out and seems to really enjoy live music out here a lot more than other cities. So I appreciate that about, about London. It makes up for the weather. If Bricardi weren't able to give artists a platform, it makes us, it makes it so much harder for us in the path that we have to, you know what I mean? Really journey down and just when brands like this give artists a platform to be visible on, it makes our journey so much faster and easier for getting just our message across to who we're trying to, you know, have listened to our music. So it really, it really helps people in my position. At the moment, I'm working on my first album, which is going to be called The New Classic. And I'm kind of actually in this room is the room that I'm creating it all in. And so I'm just kind of in this little back cave working on my singles and that's what you really see from me in the next few months different things leading up to that music and visual stuff to get everybody excited and I'm kind of about halfway done on it now so I've just really been hammering it out here trying to get all the little bits and pieces figured out and features figured out and all that kind of fun stuff now so really like getting into the good juicy bits of it DJ Fresh doesn't know I actually already forced a collaboration with me and him when I remixed his song without him asking. <laughs> but I'm a rapper, we can do that because we have mixtapes. So I actually, I really love his song Gold Dust, it's my favourite song of his and I just got off to with Reader and I performed it every night and I played his original version before I'd do my slowed down rap version of it. and people just went crazy and I just there's something about that and a lot of his music and he has these really big hooks that I just really love and hopefully I can get him in a headlock now that we're all in the same room together mm -hmm. and get him on my album but yeah I, lo I love his music really cool stuff whenever I a lot of the songs here I'll just hear a big hook and be like I love that and then 
somebody that I'm with will be like, it's actually DJ Fresh. I'm like, ah, oh, does he do everything? He has the monopoly. I love him.